All right, guys, we're gonna take our Thunder Cricket game to the next level. We're gonna do that by changing the trailer. Thunder Cricket out of the package is an amazing bait. It's so versatile, you can do so many things with it. You can do even more with it when you change a trailer. One of the best and go-to trailers that I always keep on the back of mine is a Strike King Rage Swimmer. It's something that I can throw around. It mimics a brim. You can change the color, make it look like a shad. You can do so many different things with it. And what that does is it allows that bait to travel a little bit lower in the water column. If you're just say you're gonna fish it around, you know, docks or, or just throwing it down the bank or grass, a lot of times what you wanna do is you wanna throw that raid swimmer on there because it lets that bait dart and move and fish true and straight. And that way you can fish it and rip it and do all those good things to get those bites. When you wanna change the action of your Thunder Cricket and you wanna fish it higher in the water column, you go straight to the Rage Bug. What that does is it allows my, my Thunder Cricket to ride higher in the water column. You use the flat surface of that bait to use the water to plane it up. So it'll allow that bait to travel higher in the water column. So if I'm wanting to fish above grass or above anything that's on the bottom and not let that bait get down in the rocks or get down into anything I'm fishing, I'll go straight to the Rage Bug. The Rage Bug just allows that bait to go so much higher in the water column. It doesn't allow the bait to roll on its side as much and it keeps it straight. That way, if I am fishing around wood, docks, or anything like that, it doesn't allow that bait to roll on its side and let that hook jam right into a pole or to a, a stump or anything that you're fishing around. So those are a couple of things that I do that will take your Thunder Cricket game to the next level.